there. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Andrea, reading on behalf of the Clearview Library District. As always, before we read stories, we have to get our wiggles out. Can you stand up for me, please? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears. And I wiggle my nose. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my chin. I stretch my arms wide, and I pull them back in. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees. I hop like a bunny. And I smile and say, cheese. Now I have no more wiggles left in me, and I'll sit on the floor as still as can be. Our book today is about something that happened to all of us last year. So last year, the coronavirus became a pandemic and we all had to quarantine in our houses, which means we all had to stay at home. So this book is about staying at home. It's by Patrick Guest, it's illustrated by Jonathan Bentley, and it's called Windows. Out the window, I can see a new world looking back at me. Why is it a new world? What's different? The streets are empty. There are no people or cars. The streets are still. There are no crowds. But looking up, I see what? I see the clouds. There goes one that's bringing rain. There goes one that looks like an old steam train. Maybe that one looks like an old steam train. Chuck, 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 choo, choo. A pirate ship goes sailing by. A dinosaur fills half the sky. We can all look up and watch the weather, even though we're not together. So yeah, even though we couldn't go outside, we can still watch the clouds and use our imaginations. <gasps> what is that I hear below? It's a friendly nurse saying hello. Because the nurses and the doctors and the firefighters and the police officers and the grocery store employees and the gas station employees, they all still had to go to work, right? And look, my friends are out there too. I see Michaela and Abu. A fire truck gives me a toot. Giuseppe's mama plays the flute. Yes, during quarantine, sometimes we had little parades with fire trucks or a bookmobile, and people played music out on their porches. Kiyoshi smiles and waves his coat. Akira leaves a little note. In different windows everywhere, I see rainbows, hearts, and teddy bears. What's that tapping on the glass? Is it a ghost just floating past? Hmm. And what is that flying thing I see? Is that a hat? Whose could it be? I think I better close the curtain until I know I'm safe for certain. But when I pull the curtain away, I see my grandpa shout, hooray! He pulls a face and does a jig. He blows and makes his mouth look big. He flaps his arms, pretends they're wings. And then he smiles at me and sings. 
I'd love to give you all a hug. I'd love to squash this silly bug. But just for now, I'll keep away until the lovely happy day when all the world can dance and kiss and hug the ones we really miss. The end. All right, let's do a rhyme about hugging. Let's stand. I have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on ticking while I jump, jump, jump. I get a special feeling when I look at you. It makes me want to give you a hug or two. Remember, always ask somebody if they want a hug before you give one to them. Let's try that again. I have a little heart and it goes thump, thump, thump. It keeps right on beating while I jump, jump, jump. I, have, I get a special feeling when I look at you. It makes me want to give you a hug or two. Fantastic. Let's have a seat and do a rhyme. Because sometimes hugs make us happy, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Fantastic. Can you get your clapping hands out and help me say goodbye? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. For those who might want it. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime with me today. I miss you all. I hope to see you soon.